So we're gonna demonstrate the loaded Dick's Hall Pike. You want your hands high on your patient's skull. We're gonna turn Gretchen's head 45 degrees to the left. And we're gonna tip it down 30 degrees, making sure her torso's erect, all right? And the head's flexed forward 30 degrees in the plane of her left posterior canal. Left loaded Dick's Hall Pike. Test the left posterior canal and also the right anterior canal. Hold on to my forearm like a baseball bat. Good, we're gonna lie flat on your back. When you get back, make sure you keep your eyes open. You, again, you may get dizzy lasting seconds. Ready? One, two, three, all the way flat. You want the chin uh, elevate higher than the forehead, about 20 degrees. Maintain the 45 degrees of rotation and look right at the tip of my nose. It's not uncommon if patients get symptomatic that they'll want to close their eyes. If they do close their eyes, just pull one open. So just go right below the brow with your thumb and pull one lid open so you can watch to see what's happening. 